Hi, recently after the very successful start of the crowdfunding campaign of my new open source um, hardware gadget, Anavi Gas Detector, a lot of you contacted me privately asking what is the power consumption, can Anavi Gas Detector run on batteries? So let's check it out with a couple of demonstrations. Anavi Gas Detector is an ESP powered open source Wi Fi development board for monitoring air quality and detecting dangerous gases uh, with analog MQ gas sensors such as MQ135. Let's have a look at the schematics of Anavi Gas Detector. The printed circuit board has been designed with the free and open source software KiCad. It has ESP8266 module. This module works at 3.3 volts, therefore there is a linear regulator to switch from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. Energy is also consumed by the analog MQ gas sensor, which has a dedicated slot. It consumes about 40 to 50 uh, milliamps. Also, the peripheral I2C devices consume a lot of energy. Now let's do a couple of experiments. Using this little gadget, I'll be detecting what is the power consumption of Anavi gas detector while it's working. What is the power consumption of Anavi gas detector with its full gear? Here I have Anavi gas detector with MQ135 sensor. It also has attached mini OLED display and uh, three I squared C sensors for detecting temperature, humidity, barometric pressure and light. This particular unit of Anavi gas detector is connected to my uh, local instance of Home Assistant and it's reporting the data from all these sensors via the MQTT protocol. As you can see, when I turn it on, there is some peak values and after that the power consumption is about 0.25 amps or in other words about 250 milliamps. In some cases it's even smaller. Now let's check if we can run Anavi gas detector on batteries. I'm using a 5000 milliampere hours power bank. It has an output at 5 volts of 2.1 amperes. As you have seen from the previous experiment, this is more than enough. I'm connecting all the cables. After that, I'm turning on the power bank. As you can see, Anavi gas detector is running successfully. Uh, we already know the power consumption, so based on the power consumption from the previous experiment, you can calculate how much can it last on your battery. The default firmware of Anavi gas detector, which is available at GitHub as an Arduino sketch, is not actually optimized for power consumption and running on batteries. If you're planning to do so, there is a huge room for improvements. I have to say that in general, Anavi gas detector has been designed in mind as an indoor air quality monitor, uh, which is running on stable power supply. In most of the cases, it makes sense using a power bank, just like a UPS. Uh, this will prevent Anavi gas detector for, from stopping, even if there is a problem with the main power supply. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos.